Here is a very quick look at Banggood's D26 robot smart car. It does come to you as a DIY kit. This small bag of parts, some assembly, some soldering required, about two hours worth to build a three mode robot. Default mode when you turn it on is line follower mode. You can see it going around this very simple oval. This is not a sophisticated algorithm. There's a lot of hunting going on, but if nothing else, it does show that the wheels can reverse since this robot has full H bridges. Now that is line following mode. And incidentally, that oval comes to you. It's printed on the back side of the instructions, which are in Chinese. But not to worry between the very well-marked PCB and the schematic and the bill of materials. Very easy to assemble, even if you don't know Chinese. Okay, mode two is obstacle avoidance mode. I made a very simple paper corral on this tabletop. To access, to change modes, you push this push button in front of the on off switch. I'm gonna turn it on, and I'm gonna instantly push the button. Now watch, after two seconds, the left LED comes on. Two more seconds, the right LED comes on. Release the button, and now we are in obstacle avoidance mode. So you can tell it's just sort of following the edge of this paper right now. So it's just using IR sensors to more or less kind of follow these walls right now. Obstacle avoidance mode, that is mode two. Okay, big money is mode three, which is uh, full Bluetooth control. So I'm gonna bring in my Android phone, which is running, it's an app called Magic Car. This is in a down, this is downloadable in a zip file from the Banggood website. And let's see if you can tell it says not connected. Uh, when I first turn it on, let's see, again, we wake up in line following mode. I'm going to push the button after, it'll take six seconds total to get to Bluetooth mode. Push, two seconds left LED, two more seconds right LED, two more seconds both LEDs. Okay, we're now in Bluetooth control mode. Here's our BT-04 Bluetooth uh, module plugged into the robot. Now I'm going to plug in... Let's see, I'm going to uh, push the pair mode right there, select device, BT04. Okay, so now we're connected, and just to stop, I'm going to push that center button right there. Now it is interesting, the speed and direction are shown up there. I have full touchpad control of this thing, there's forward, there's reverse, left, and right. A uh, little bit of PWM comes into play. I wouldn't call it full proportional control, but as I'm going forward, if I slide left, if I slide left, you can see the left wheel slows down a little bit and speeds up right there. So it's just enough. I can make some kind of gentle arc turns uh, driving on the floor with a radius of about probably six feet. <clears throat> now there's also a tilt control mode in this thing. There's a tilt sensor switch right here. So when I hit that, Let's see, okay. Now if I tilt the phone forward, there's forward, there's reverse, left, and right. And just like the touch sensor, uh, it does do a little bit of interpolation in between. A very quick look at Banggood's D26 robot.